Hi friends, I am Dharmala Shri from Smart Leaders IAS. Hope your preparations are going great. Believe yourself and you can do the exam well. Hard work works and makes your work more smarter. We will go to the article today. Two topics we are going to see today. The topics are politics of artificial intelligence. Here it is not about the artificial intelligence and the debate it is going around the artificial intelligence. With respect to our examination point of view, what are the important terms which is spoken in this article artificial intelligence there are some topics like uh, platform capitalism so there are new new kinds of terms and all given and other one is about uh, uses of artificial intelligence in general because we can expect one question on gs3 with respect to artificial intelligence it is very general article the next one is crisis in maldives here we will see about the sequence of the crisis in the maldives let us move on to the article now artificial intelligence is a boom or a bane it can be a very wide, uh, wild guess question. We all know that artificial intelligence is a machine learning process that is very simple. Making the machines to think like humans, whether it is able to achieve it or not, but it is the main idea or the concept behind the intelligence that is making it very artificial. That is a machine can able to think and do its performance. Here, the author says that because of digitalization, artificial intelligence is the next era. I mean the next big thing in the world is fascinated by this artificial intelligence and it is highly coordinated with these two things digitalization and the capitalism because capitalism started its decline in 1970s and the profitability for the capitalism it is getting reduced however artificial intelligence gives hope to the capitalists so that they can revive it back so this is the one reason that capitalism supports artificial intelligence and the second one is to enable the artificial intelligence, digitalization is the primary criteria for achieving it. So all these three are interlinked according to the author. The second one is the platform capitalism. Here, the capitalism, it is not linked with any money kind of activity, but here it is linked with the platform. That is search engines or social networks. These are the platforms. They become the capitalism like Google, like Facebook or uber we can say here they don't have any ownership of the here they are not producing any data or they are not doing any works with respect to the data collection but what they are doing actually is data mining they are providing as a platforms and they are able to predict the movements of customers with respect to uber and with respect to facebook what their customers need and all so these are the platform which will be the new oil and the new oil will be in the hands of capitalism because very few are holding this. Otherwise, very simple, it is going to be monopolized. Recently, Mukesh Ambani acknowledges that data is the new oil because data mining which gives you enormous information about a person or about a country or so much of volumes of data is going to be produced. With that data, you can do so much huge projects and all. So that is it will give you a revenue or a generation of millions of dollars but you need not to share with the people who is the part of a project without their knowledge their information have been taken and used because of this it will create a monopoly and loss of job due to the artificial intelligence is certain in the future that is the service sector is going to get a big hit next one is to make the equity sharing to the data owners and the data platform people we need to create a unique or a new data ownership regulation so it will be more social rather than the capital now we'll see the uses of artificial intelligence in a brief way so in cyborg technology that is artificial intelligence can be effectively used for amputees with respect to limbs or hands or connectivity so it can coordinate from the brain uh, to the organs it can work very effectively so it can be a future in the medical technology and next one is automation and the transportation already we started driverless cars and driverless buses and uh, artificial intelligence going to play a huge role in the automation and transportation and the next one is solving climate change artificial intelligence with its potential of storing data it can do uh, solutions for the climate change and the next one is not only the lost job we can say here artificial intelligence will remove the persons those who are pursuing hazardous jobs or dangerous occupations like uh, welding or some other jobs we can use artificial intelligence and here we can actually save the humans so these are some broad areas of artificial intelligence if at all they can be asked this way you, we can expect some 10 marks question in the means so next topic we are going to see is crisis in the maldives already in 2013 
when the former president Nasheed was arrested, the question was asked in UPSC mains. We can expect a question now because the state of emergency in Maldives and the free trade agreement signed by Maldives with China. And the next one is Supreme Court Chief Justice in the Maldives or in jail. So all this will put a very huge potential for our exam point of view. Now we will see the sequence of crisis in the Maldives. The first one is arrest of Nasheed on the charges of corruption in 2013, imprisoned up to 11 years. President election won by President Khayun, the present president. Uh, he has taken an oath as a president. Now what has happened? He is a half brother of older President Khayun. So slowly, the situation in the Maldives is getting increased. In the year 15-16, the turmoil has started very open. And now, Nasheed was in exile. That is, he is living in UK on the grounds of health reason. Recently, February, Supreme Court judges put into jail because it is a consequence judgment. They have made the judgment that, that along with Nasheed, nine other MPs have all their accusations were made illegal. That is, they were freed from the charges. Now they can come out and participate in the election. Present president is fear of having a no confidence motion because his side is very weak. Because his half brother uh, last year moved to the opposition party, not siding with his own side. So that is a few MLS MPs along with him went to the other side. So now this present president wants to secure his position. And what he did is impose the state emergency in the Maldives. And the next one is arrested the chief justice of Supreme Court and as well as there's other judges of the Supreme Court who favored. So these are the main broad outline about the crisis in the Maldives. So in the meanwhile, the present president, because Nasheed is more India allied person, the present president is more tilted towards China. Now China, after establishing a base in Djibouti, this Indian Ocean region, Djibouti, here China already started its base in the Indian Ocean region. It is a severe setback to India. And already this Gwadar port establishment in Karachi, that is uh, near Karachi, it is also another big. Now here in Maldives, it is actually a busiest lane in the Indian Ocean. Now China wants to use the Maldives now. So it is using it for military base as well as establishing the connectivity by constructing friendship bridge. And the next one is it signed the free trade agreement after Pakistan, South Asia region, China signed with Maldives. This is the next concern. And the other important concern is SIS have been established very firmly in Maldives because of the instability and the period of turmoil in Maldives. These two were stated by Nasheed in this recent interview. That interview was taken as an article for this 21st Feb. So he says that ISIS is the main uh, crisis, not the state of emergency. And China, he says that Maldives will become a next to Sri Lanka, he says. I'll point to the analysis part now. So Maldives recently when its actions were internationally questioned, it quits from the Commonwealth, so it can be a good prelims question for you. And the next one, China and Maldives, yes, we have explained that China and Maldives is danger to India as well, no, and Indian Ocean as well, and also Maldives as well, as like Sri Lanka. And uh, India and Maldives, India traditionally bent and supported Maldives in Operation Cactus 1988. It, it resolved the military coup action and restored the throne to Ghayam, the then president. We cannot go and interrupt in a military way because already China started establishing its tanks and all in this, then in their islands of Maldives. Diplomacy is the way and uh, we started negotiating with the Maldives. However, Maldives officially stated that relations with India is very unique but they signed FTA with China. So we need to be very cautious in dealing with Maldives and restoring the normalcy in our neighborhood is very crucial because it has its own spillovers in our neighbors and our strategical implication in the Indian Ocean. Securing our backyard, it is our foremost concern, and but in a right way, it is our priority now. Study well, revise well, do adequate questions, all the very best, thank you.